Hey everyone, David here with Headset Advisor. Hope you're doing well today. And in this video, we're gonna compare the Jabra Evolve 65, the new and improved Evolve 265 to the new uh, EPOS Adapt 360 Bluetooth wireless headset. Now, why these two headsets is they're both entry level in their series. So it's the, the lowest price point items kind of going head to head between EPOS and the Jabra. And in this video, we're gonna put the microphones to the test on both these headsets. And also we're gonna test the speakers so you can hear for yourself and be the judge for yourself, which one sounds best and which one would be better for your specific situation. So let's start with the technical specs so you can see how these stack up side by side. All right, now let's take a look at these specs. They're both Bluetooth 5.0 wireless technology, which means that they're gonna to connect to your computer with a USB dongle that looks something like this, and that's highly important. Then also pair up to your mobile phone via Bluetooth. Wireless rating uh, ranges from brand to brand. Uh, EPOS says 82 feet, Jabra says 100 feet, but in my experience, most of them give you about 50 feet when utilizing that Bluetooth dongle. The weight on the EPOS is um, more by almost two ounces. 20% more, so it definitely feels heavier in the hand, but look at the size difference of those speakers. So we're gonna see later on in this video if those speakers on the EPOS actually sound any better than the Jabra. Um, talk time is pretty much the same for both, 39 hours for the EPOS, so it's gonna last you a good long while, where Jabra, if you're using the busy light on the headset, that's 24 hours or 35 without it, which is plenty enough for most people. Now, what uh, EPOS has over the Jabra is that it has active noise cancellation feature built in to uh, the headset. So you're really gonna be able to focus in on your calls even more, especially with these larger ear cups, it's gonna fully cover that ear and you're gonna be able to hear your calls um, you know, crystal clear without the distracting noises around you. The Jabra does not have that feature, but still does a good job of passively doing that. Now they both have noise canceling microphones, but the Jabra actually has a noise canceling microphone boom, where the EPOS has uh, what they call a boomless mic. So it does not have a boom that comes up next to your face. Oh, I'll just leave that there. It doesn't have a boom that comes up to your face. So it has it built into the housing here. So later on in this video, we're gonna see how the microphone sounds compared to the Jabra and even put it up against the blender in the background here so we can see how much noise canceling each of these headsets do. Both have a two year warranty and the EPOS is, uh, depending upon which model you get, either $20 more or about $20 less or $30 less than the Jabra if you get the Jabra with the charging stand. All right, let's take a quick look at these up close and personal here. As you can see, there is that noise canceling microphone boom. You have this nice call control button here, the on off button, and it just is kind of built in with this silicone type cover. It just feels like a well-designed built button. On the top here, you have your mute switch. You have your volume up button, volume down, and then you have your pause and play button here for your music. And then of course you have your power slash pairing button. That's how you get it paired to your mobile phone or repaired to the dongle. Then you can actually use this uh, USB-C charging port to charge the headset. So if your headset dies, plug it in, boom, you're still good to go with the headset. Then you have an adjustable headband, which is nice as you see here full slide up and down on both sides so you can adjust to your head. It has these um, leather cushions that are labeled R and L so you know what side the microphone boom goes. And then you have a silicone soft squishy um, cushion at the top of the headband there. Now the EPOS, it's bigger for sure as you see these uh, ear pads are larger. They actually go over your entire ear where the jobber rests on top of it. But as you see, there's no microphone boom on this headset. So we're going to see how that sounds in just a second, especially compared to the Jabra. On here, you got your Teams button here. You actually have your volume up, volume down, as well as your pause and play button there. 
you have your uh, power button, click and hold that. And this is actually the active noise canceling button too. You have to double press it in order to activate the ANC feature. I had to look that up in the manual to figure that one out. I'm usually pretty good about these things as a lot of them are very similar, but that one was unique for sure. And then it does have an adjustable headband and it actually folds up so you can compact the size of the EPOS, which is pretty cool. All right. All right, now that you know a little bit more about these two headsets, how they stack up as far as the technical aspect goes, let's get to the fun stuff. Let's get to the testing of the microphones and the speakers. Now, before we do that, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos like this. Also, if you need help finding a headset that's perfect for your situation, there's so many different soft phones, Ring Central, you know, if you use a desk phone, and there's hundreds and hundreds of headsets that could be good for your situation, but there are some that are even better. We help match you up to the right headset, absolutely free, and we want to get you a product that actually works best for your situation. So I'll put our contact information in the video description below, as well as our website in case you want to live chat with us. All right, so let's get started on the microphone test. All right, now this is the Jabra Evolve 65. As you see, when I tap on that microphone, you can hear my voice going through this microphone. And you can also see that online indicator with the Jabra, which really looks cool as you uh, can see it from the front, from the side and from the back. So if somebody's on the phone, you can easily tell with that bright uh, LED light visual uh, vis visualization. All right, so this is what the Jabra sounds like. Let's switch over to the EPOS. All right, now this is the EPOS Adapt 360. As you can tell, when I tap on this housing, you should hear that tapping, letting you know that my voice is actually being recorded directly on this Bluetooth wireless headset. And I'll keep speaking for a few more seconds here so you can get a good idea of what the sound quality of this headset sounds like. Um, what you wanna be looking for is consistent sound quality as well as good range in audio so you get a little bit lower bass and a little bit higher highs where other microphones can kind of sound very tinny um, like you're talking through a tin can. All right, so let's bump this up to do uh, the noise canceling test. All right, now my voice is being recorded through Jabra and I have office ambient noise going on which is just um, writing, talking, computer typing, that type of thing going on in the background. So we're gonna see how well this microphone performs. And I also have the decibel reader so you know how much noise is going on in the background here. So I'll keep talking for a few more seconds here and then I'll quickly switch over to the EPOS. All right, now this is the EPOS Adapt 360 with that office noise going on in the background. And I'll be quiet for a few seconds here so you can see how much noise is actually going on in the environment. All right, so that gives you a good sample of that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bump it up to the blender test in the background, fire that up so you can hear what that sounds like. And also before we do, remember hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. All right, now this is the Jabra with the blender on in the background. Testing one, two, three. You wanna be able to hear my voice loud and clear and not the background noise going on in the background there. All right, this is the EPOS Adapt 360. And this is what it sounds like with the background going on in the background with the blender. And you wanna be able to hear my voice loud and clear and not all that distracting noise in the background. All right, just give it a few more seconds here and then we will stop the insanity. All right, so there is the sound test with the microphones of both the Jabra and the EPOS, but I'm curious, which one do you think sounded better? Was it the Jabra or was it the EPOS? Did not having a microphone boom affect the audio quality of the EPOS or did it perform pretty well and very comparable to you? I'll say as far as uh, comfort level goes, the comfort of the Evolve felt like softer and plusher, uh, lighter weight, where the EPOS felt a little bit of pressure on my ears, a little bit uh, heavier. I definitely felt that. But what you can do with some of these larger headsets that do that little pressure is you can kind of bend this just slightly, just gently, and kind of uh, 
give yourself a little bit less pressure on your ears and it really uh, it really helps alleviate that pressure so it it will ease up that discomfort it's making these comfortable for much much longer all right so what we're going to do next is if I can get that to stay. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna test the speakers. So I'm gonna put the speakers up to this microphone here so you can hear the sound quality coming out of these speakers. And I'm gonna play some bass so you can see what kind of sound quality for music you can expect to get out of both of these headsets if they're enjoyable or not enjoyable. Um, and before we do that, please again, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel. And if you need help finding a headset, I think you know who to call. All right, let us um, get to the speaker test. All right, this is Jabra, max volume. So what did you think of the sound quality of both these headsets? Was the Jabra sound better or did the EPOS sound better? Put your thoughts in the comment section below. Love to get your feedback about that. Overall, uh, the Dust Bowl reader did read a little bit louder for the EPOS. Both sound fantastic to me. Both, uh, you know, will sound good for music. Obviously, it's not going to be the best sound quality for music until you jump up to maybe the Evolve 75 or 85 or the EPOS 560 or 660, which are the upper end models of both of these headsets. But um, being that these are the lowest price point uh, of both brands, uh, they do surprisingly well for the music. Uh, overall, I hope you enjoyed this video. Was it helpful to you? Do you wanna see any other comparisons? Put it in the comment section below. We do look and uh, respond to all those comments. We greatly appreciate it. Overall, uh, my two final thoughts is uh, comfort-wise and um, as far as having that little feature on the Jabra, it just looks really cool, the online indicator. And the comfort level is going to be a little bit higher on the Jabra, in my opinion, but you're packing in uh, a good bang for the buck on this EPOS 360, good quality sound, speakers, active noise cancellation. So definitely worth something to consider on the EPOS if a noisier environment is your situation. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video again. And um, if you uh, need help finding a headset, there's literally hundreds of them. We can help you cut through the noise. I'll put our contact information below. And also, I'm gonna put a link to both of these products in the video description as well, just so that you can check them out and uh, that helps support this channel as well. So I'd appreciate it if you would use those links. And other than that, that's all I got for you. We'll see you next time.